O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. To Christ the Prince of Peace and Son of God Most High, the Father of the world to come, Sing we with holy joy. Deep in his heart for us, the wound of love he bore, that love wherewith he still inflames the hearts that him adore. O Jesu, victim blessed, what else but love divine could be constrained to open thus that sacred heart of thine? O fount of endless life, O spring of water clear, O flame celestial cleansing all, who unto thee draw near. Praise to the Father be, and soul begotten Son. Praise, holy Paraclete, to thee, while endless ages run. Lord, let my prayer rise before you like incense. I call to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense. The rays of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a God over my mouth. Keep watch, O Lord, at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my hand. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the stairs of those who are evil. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Both now and for ages and end amen. Lord, let my prayer rise before you like incense. You are my refuge, Lord, my heritage in the land of the living. Though my voice I cry to the Lord, 
With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress. While my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk. They have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look at my right and see. There is no one who takes my path. I have no means of escape. Not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge, all I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. You are my refuge, Lord, my heritage in the land of the living. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, therefore God has highly exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, therefore God has highly exalted him forever. How great are God's riches! How deep are his wisdom and knowledge! Who can explain his decisions? Who can understand his ways? As the scripture says, Who knows the mind of the Lord? Who is able to give him advice? Who has ever given him anything so that he had to pay it back? For all things were created by him, and all things exist through him and for him. To God be glory forever. Amen. How great are your works, O Lord! How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have created them all. How great are your works, O Lord! Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How great are your works, O Lord! You also must go into my vineyard, and I will pay you what is just. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, 
Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercies from age to age on those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel's servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. You also must go into my vineyard, and I will pay you what is just. Glory be to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as we humbly pray. Lord be with your people. Almighty Father, bring justice to our world, that your people may live in the joy of your peace. Lord be with your people. Bring all peoples into your kingdom, that all mankind may be saved. Lord be with your people. Give to married people the strength of your peace, the guidance of your will, and the grace to live together in constant love. Lord, be with your people. Be the reward of all who have given us their help, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Have mercy on those who have lost their lives through warfare or violence, and receive them into your rest. Lord, be with your people. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you summed up the whole law as love of you and of our neighbour. Grant that by keeping this commandment of love, we may come to it her eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.